Hi guys, Retro Jingo here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you what, what and how I check a Commodore 1541 floppy drive. Now, I got a new friend through this hobby. He bought an Amiga 1000 from me and he contacted, him, contacted me again. He wants an accelerator, no, not accelerator, um, a scan double card for it. And he also all, uh, asked if I wanted to sell him a, a floppy drive. Now, usually I don't sell floppy drives, no, nothing. It, it, together with the Commodore 64, yes, but not like this. But I mean, he has bought so much else from me and we ride often to each other. And um, he supports me on my channel. <laughs> he uh, actually, two days ago, he told me that um, when he came home from work, he just put on my videos and heard it in the background and uh, he loved to check out what next retro thing I was up to. <laughs> so uh, thank you dear friend. <laughs> now, this 1541, uh, he, own, he wants two of them but he only wants it uh, in this color or what's it called. You can have them um, more grayish, more whitish. This one has this has this flap. You can have another one with the um, with a push down this way. There's some, some there are some different versions. You can actually have um, also I think it's called 1570, almost bright white, same design. But he only want this color. <laughs> um, so I got this one home. I just came home. <laughs> uh, this one was stored at my friend's place. And uh, condition unknown. Been on storage for 20 years. The only thing I have done, I have cheated a bit. I plucked everything in and I've seen down under, down there, there was a sticker um, <clears throat> back from August of 1991 where it says that it has been uh, cleaned and serviced and all that. So somebody else has been in there, but there were a sticker on. And when I wanted to take off the screws, I had to um, go through that sticker. So since August of 1991, nobody has touched this drive. It has not been opened. The sticker there was intact. So um, maybe they used it for some time after that and then it was just on storage for all these years i mean this drive is from back in the 80s or something like that i don't know guys so let's just give us some power first time ever i'm gonna turn it on we need to have a green light down here if that doesn't work then we're screwed <laughs> so let's just see we got a light on that's nice so <clears throat> it has to read but other than that, the first thing I actually check is the belt, th that it works. I heard that it spins, but I don't know if it can spin the disc. So let's just turn on the Commodore 64 here. Let's just check a random disc. I got a whole disc box here, guys, as you can see, a lot of discs. So we're just, uh, we're gonna take this one. This one says, this one has nothing on it, so let's see if it reads. So normally you have to read, uh, write all the command, but I have this KCS power cartridge from 1985. So I just press F7 once and F7 again. Oh man, it reads. <laughs> Didn't even clean the head and it works. That does not happen that often, I'm telling you that. That's some great, ne great news, guys. But still, let's just open and take a look inside because uh, maybe it's got some dust inside. I just, as I said, I removed the screw. Okay, that was fast. I removed the screws, but I haven't opened them and looked inside. No, nothing like that. So let's see if... guys <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> lucky with this one. <laughs> All the build sounds perfect. Um, I mean, this the spinning sounds perfect, and oh, oh, look at that, guys! You know what that means? That means that the head needs to be cleaned. <laughs> so uh, I wasn't that lucky. I'm usually I'm a lucky guy. <laughs> ah, damn! It just went dead on us. Let's try one more time. Sometimes by just, um, uh, what's it called? Reading the game a couple of times, it can be all right. It can also be a dead disc, you know? Actually, I, um, one of the guys <laughs> I had, in, in another video, I actually had trouble with I had one of these floppies and um, let's just check, I don't know, let's check this one. This one says caveman, alright, and it's bent and everything, but oh, this one is really, really, uh, it, it's got some cracks in here, it's cracked, so I don't think that this disc will work, I think this disc is dead, but listen to this guys. I was talking about these old Commodore 64 uh, 128 discs. Um, some of them, you, I couldn't read them and all that. And uh, a guy said, you can actually just open the... Yeah, it's, it does the same again. A guy said, I could just open this and... and um, uh, on, on some of my comments. And you could just open it and use some ISO, some alcohol and just wipe it off and clean it. And then the disc could maybe maybe work but another guy said dude just take the disc now th th this one is also cracked this and this one's dead another guy said dude just take the disc and do it like this i mean i have never tried this before this is first time on camera and i'm gonna do it nothing i do know but he wrote to me that i should do this just give it some iso there and turn it just a tad and give it some more but I'm gonna just give it one time and put it in here and see what's gonna happen oh, it struggles to to turn it oh it has turned out as I can see and give it one more time never tried this it's just it's a crazy thing to do but as he said they got they get them um, the disc gets cleaned this way i don't know if it's a good thing to do but let's just see if this works guys <laughs> so what i'm thinking now it's um well, let's just load Oh, it's Maniac Mansion. All right. So let's see if it, if it works. I mean, yeah, just an experiment. Um, it could be great if that uh, did the trick because I have a lot of these discs that um, that need some cleaning. <laughs> it's it's pretty easy to do it that way. But but just let's just give it a go and see what's gonna happen. Oh wait, it can also mean that you have to turn this disc around. Maybe it's a two-sided game. Don't know guys, but then, um, well, it's loaded. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the red light does blink. Yeah, I'm not gonna do fast forward because I don't know how to. Dude! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> well, you learn every day. Now I know <laughs> how we can uh, repair some of these old discs. But that's that's not normal because when these drives have been on storage for so many years, they usually don't read anything. So I am so happy with this one. I am so surprised. I think I think this is the first time <laughs> the disk drive that I just connected that it just works from the get-go. That's just great. So this is how it looks inside the 1541. We put the disc in here, push this one down, and the head here it moves back and forth. Let's get some more lights. Two seconds, guys. Maybe that helped. <laughs> so the thing we need to do is clean the head. I don't know the condition of the head, but we can. Of course, the power is on. Please, I mean. The clean stuff I'm gonna do now, everybody can do it. If you have one of these drives, it's so simple. So simple, a child could do this. So you just have to not just take this one and pull it backwards, then you will destroy everything. But you just have to turn here and do it gently. As you can see, I can, I can move the head back and forth. So this drive is a single head drive, or what's it called? The head is down here, two cylinders. Well, the head is down here. And as you can see, we got this little white head that is so clean. <laughs> I mean, Damn, I have never ever seen a drive like this. <laughs> okay. This is not the best drive to make this clip with because usually when I open here, it's so dusty. You can't even see that white thing down there. It's just so dusty and oh my God, it's just, I, I, I can't even work with it inside. I have to take these drives outside. So this one has been cleaned back in august 1991 and after that i think short time after it it was put on storage um because it just it looks it looks so amazing do not just take um, the thing you want to clean with and just spray it on just take it on this q-tap here as you can see, it got wet and then just lift the head. You don't have to worry about the top side. There's just a little piece of cotton up there that can um, yeah, clean the top side. Also press it down so we can read. But down here, gently, you have to clean the head and the head is down here. As you can see, it needs to be white with this stripe <laughs> in the middle. And it's, as you can see, Nothing is just so clean. Wow. I mean, um, <laughs> this is not something I see every day. I mean, it's just so clean inside. I, I love this. Okay, let's just. Um, Put in a disc and turn it on so you can see it in action also there we go there we go and the monitor here so <clears throat> yeah the head is clean i mean these discs they're not worth anything but um i mean they can be cleaned and as you can see they can be used so we don't have to see what's going on on the monitor but I just want to um, I just want to film how it loads. Oh, let's just load the game here. So 
as you can see, it, it moves back and forth, so the, it has got some metal rails down under, you can't film it. But they have to be first properly cleaned and then lubricated. Also, the head I was turning, <laughs> you can't see it, you can't even see if I remove the disc because of the um, it, it's under here. So that one needs to be lubricate, lubricated, but always remove the old lubrication before you do anything. Uh, the old stuff, I, I don't know what's on it, silicone, no nothing, just remove it because over the years it has collected some dust or maybe some small metal parts from the gears, I don't know, something, something, remove it and then give it some new stuff. Um, some uses silicone grease and do not just spray it with WD-40. Do not use something like that. You have to grease it. Um, and do not do it too much. I have bought some of these that was just greased so much everywhere. <laughs> just take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Um, yeah. This is how it looks and this is how it reads, as you can see. It just moved a tad forward. That's just so nice. As you can see here, it reads the indicator here. Yeah, so this drive's gonna go to my friend, but I have to say to him uh, also here on the video, I'm just gonna sell this one and not two of them because um, I don't know I can't keep everything but I really don't like selling my Commodore stuff it's hard to explain it's um, I don't know how to say it <laughs> I, I just love these uh, 1541 drives they are just so magical I remember um, I just had the cassette tape actually all my friends had a cassette tape and this family moved to our neighborhood and his big brother was 10 years older than us but um, <clears throat> this kid he said he also had a Commodore 64 now Denmark was a Commodore 64 country and um, one time I visited him and he had this big 1541 disk drive and he showed me uh, this game. Wait, wait, I'm gonna find the box. Two seconds, guys. Where is it? Where is it? There, I just found it. <laughs> he showed me this game. Defenders of the Crown. I saw this one on disc and it was just mind-blowing it was such an awesome game and I really wanted a disk drive but my dad didn't buy it to me <laughs> so I don't know if it's because of that but they're, they're just so magical they're so easy to work with I mean um, I'm gonna take off the top cover I'm gonna remove if there are any dust down there because if I sell something yeah, uh, I only want to make decent trade sales or what they're called. So I'm just gonna clean it for dust because I don't know, under the transportation, the dust can come and lay on the head here. And when he gets home, then it doesn't work or nothing like that. I don't want no headaches. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna clean this one. But um, I really wanted this one to be a dirty one. So this video does not count. <laughs> It does not count because uh, it was just, <laughs> it was clean <laughs> back in August of 1991. Thank you to whoever did it. Uh, just, um, <laughs> it's a great job. Well done. <laughs> it still works. Is it that? It's, it's just, it's magical, guys. Yeah, I just love the game. I want to try it out. I don't know what game it is, but uh, yeah. All right, guys, I want to say, Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, you enjoyed it. I mean, uh, it is a success story because it works. That's the most important part. We got a game loaded. This drive works, but um, 
I really wanted to show you how uh, and sometimes, sometimes after you clean the head it still doesn't work then it's some of these ICs that they're dead so you have to pull one of them out and test them in another disk drive and have so much headache and do all that stuff but then um, yeah this one was a uh, pretty easy one actually I don't have more of them but uh, usually these have two three small capacitors that, that I also like to um, like to replace not the big ones on the back side I had I have never had no trouble with them but it's got a small one you can't see it but oh there it's got a little one it's got a tad bigger one here but but I mean this this drive has been serviced and it hasn't been used after that and yeah I feel like this one is uh, just need some cleaning and then it's ready to go out <laughs> all right guys thank you for your time i hope you enjoyed it i mean every time i look at some content on youtube with commodore i mean i could just look at this logo and i would be happy <laughs> this rainbow oh wait he wrote to me he wanted one with the rainbow logo on and all that brown I, this is what you mean dude <laughs> Yeah, I'm learning every day, okay? I'm learning every day. <laughs> so I'm gonna... Oh, it's got a sticker here. Yeah, 1991. Nice. I mean, look at this. It's just so clean inside. They usually don't look like this, guys. They're usually really... Uh, but uh, it's a nice one. I've been taking so many discs. They just contain so many awesome awesome games your drive here <laughs> now this command just reads the first game on the top of the disk so let's just um, yeah read that that's the command as you can see here Ronda. It's clean now, as you can see. All the dust is gone. <laughs> One thing, uh, this is only for the buyer exclusively, but uh, you can listen if you want, guys. Uh, now, uh, the buyer of this disk drive, he wanted to... He asked me about if I could sell him some new discs, but I have another guy that, that buys all the new discs, all the new in-box and all that, so... Um, as soon as I made a video where I showed that I got some new discs, he just wrote to me an hour later, <laughs> he wanted to buy everything that I have. So it's his. But the buyer here, he said that he wants some new discs because he, does, he wants to make his own dream discs containing the games he wants. But to do that, I mean, look at this and it's written here and all these days they don't they don't they don't look that good but look what i have found look what i found guys in this disc box look at this labels and they're still sticky it, and so many of them it's it's just great Oh, let's kill that but uh, it's just so sticky they, they still work and uh, they are just so so many of them look at this look at this so many of them and also I have found I have found these you know when you want to do a uh, right protection on and all that on your discs um, and we have many of them also filled with as you can see these one and all that so i was just thinking i want to give you this box as a present dear friend so uh your disk drive it will be ready in 10 minutes <laughs> So when you pick this one up, you will get this box for free. 
So you have some of these labels you can play around with. I mean, the discs, as you saw earlier, they're not in good condition, so you have to clean them. Some of the games work, but let me tell you, let's just agree that all of them are dead. But you can clean them, format the discs, make your own games and uh, put on these new stickers. Then you will, some of the discs, discs uh, looks fine and other ones are bent. Um, but it's just a little present from me to you. To all your other guys, all other viewers, watchers, subscribers, uh, or what's it called. Love you guys. Have a nice day. Bye. Look at this, guys. This version will not kill your fast load cartridge. I mean, can a game on a disc go out and kill a cartridge? I mean, uh, yeah. All right. I just wanna sh Oh, Arrow Wolf. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm out of here. Bye!